Welcome into A to Z Sports Prime Time um, on this Monday night. I hope everybody is uh, doing okay given the circumstances of everything that we've been experiencing here locally in Middle Tennessee. Um, tonight is going to be a different kind of a primetime show. There has been a lot happening um, here where we're located in Nashville. For those of you who have not seen the news today or who are not in the Middle Tennessee area, um, the circumstances at the Covenant School here in the Green Hills area of our city uh, where a school shooting took place that saw the loss of six lives, three children and fr three adults in the school building. Um, and the shooter, um, who was neutralized by Metro Nashville police department, we didn't feel that it was in anybody's best interest for us to do a normal primetime show. I did feel that I wanted to come on here to just talk to you guys for a second. Um, Obviously, the, the the shooting happened while we were live on the air today with the radio show. So about two and a half hours of active shooting coverage uh, in ways that, you know, Lucas and myself and everybody else were not prepared for. Uh, I thought that I might be in a good spot to do a normal show tonight. And then about an hour ago, producer Robert and myself were on the phone and Austin Stanley, who, of course... Um, manages things here in Nashville and talked to Zach as well. Uh, we just, we didn't feel that it was the right place or time to do the normal primetime show. I just wanted to come on here and say a couple of things, um, that this community is, so important to me, to you, to everybody who uh, exists here and understands the dynamic here and everything that we try to do, I think, to uplift each other. And on a day like today, where you have innocent children at a school that is pre-K through sixth grade, uh, three of those children dead, three people in the school dead, and a situation that happened about maybe five miles from where I'm sitting uh, with you tonight. You never think it's going to happen to you until it does, and then you're never prepared. I uh, I wanted to play some comments for you guys that we made on the radio show at the end um, to wrap this thing up. I wanted to say thank you to producer Robert, um, to the people who make the primetime show possible, to Austin and Zach, and to everybody here at A to Z Sports who have been understanding uh, in me not being prepared to do a normal show just yet and for helping me to make sure that we do this in the best possible way. Um, for those of you who, uh, who live here and for those of you who are, you know, either know somebody at the covenant school or God forbid, uh, your children go to the covenant school at this point and that you've been having to deal with this all day. Uh, we're going to try and do the best that we can to direct resources, attention, um, you know, funding as appropriate to help these people whose lives have been fundamentally altered um, for the rest of their lives. And for those people who lives were so young, nine years old, three of the victims um, who will not get to experience life. So that's all I wanted to come on here and say tonight. Um, we're going to try and do normal stuff tomorrow. I don't know how necessarily Austin and Zach are going to handle their portion of of their uh, show, but I uh, I do expect that they will uh, that they will handle it with a great deal of care and sensitivity. Um, I'd like to leave you with some comments that we that we made to close out the radio show and um, to just be grateful for everybody who is who is um, involved in trying to one, save lives as Metro Nashville police did today that came in, uh, that, that 
active shooter situation happened about 1017 and the shooter was neutralized and killed by Metro Nashville Police Department by 1030 um, this morning. And lives were saved by people who are so a different level of brave that I can't even begin to describe. And by the way, that's not something that just happens. For those of you who uh, followed the coverage of the school shooting in Uvalde, Texas, where there was hesitancy by the people who were responsible for trying to save lives, for trying to protect children, teachers, uh, innocence in that spot, something that we should never take for granted um, and to kind of keep in the back of our heads and minds and hearts um, as you you know try and process this incredibly just heartbreaking circumstance. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to waste more of your time than I already have. I just wanted to, you know, connect with you guys for a little bit. I hope you use this time to spend with your family, your friends, your loved ones. Um, be honest with you. I'm going to try and call my mom after this. I, 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 I don't know what else to do. Um, I don't think anybody does in a circumstance like this, other than we need to be here for one another. So we'll leave you with these comments that were made on the radio show today. Uh, have a great rest of your night. Um, and, you know, just take care of one another. Love you guys. Buck Rising here with you for a few more minutes. Um, again, for those of you who have not seen the latest here in Middle Tennessee, in Nashville specifically, about four miles from where we do this radio show, three students at the Covenant School, Three adults inside the school shot dead by a uh, young woman, um, identity unknown at present, who was able to gain access to the school and uh, work her way from the first floor to the second floor and take six lives in the process. That individual, the shooter, has since been neutralized and killed after engaging with Metro Nashville police. Metro Nashville police are on the scene. There is no active threat to public safety as we sit here right now but more information will become available. Um, obviously, that has taken precedent over anything that we were going to talk about today. Blaine and Mickey are going to come in here uh, and do their damnedest to do uh, uh, their show uh, under as normal circumstances as humanly possible, though they will keep you updated as new information becomes available. And I'm sure as two people who are have been in this community for a long time, they have thoughts as well. Uh, I, I, would, I would ask you, you one thing today as I get ready to leave you for the rest of the afternoon and and first and foremost to say thank you to to Lucas and our boss Paul Mason and everybody who's been uh, so helpful in helping us get the information out in a spot that we are you know not necessarily trained for but want to be able to make sure that we keep you guys updated and, and do the best job that we can around here um there is going to be discussions around this event as there have been in so many other cities and so many other states around this country um, that are going to be heavily politicized and will result in some deeply contentious arguments and the like. I would say to you that out of respect for the people whose lives will be changed forever after today, for the children and the adults who have lost their lives today. I would say out of respect for those individuals and their families, wait to have those debates, discussions, and arguments a little longer. Because how quickly I've seen the conversation pivot to fact-finding and information gathering to opinion and political discourse, it bothers me deeply. It upsets me in ways that I can't possibly describe you regardless of what your political affiliation is. And I would say, wait until the bodies aren't still warm at this situation before you start going at each other the way that so many of us seem to have a tendency to do. I, it's not my place to tell you how to think. I have no interest in doing so. Just know that um, for, those, for the families of those who are affected, we love you. This entire city, this entire state, this community is here for you. 
and we will support you in any way, shape, or form humanly possible. And we love you guys very much. Uh, stay safe. Have a, I, I, it sounds ridiculous for me to say, have a great rest of your day. But um, just hold your people close, and we'll uh, we'll try to do this thing again tomorrow. See you guys.